Cheap Homesteading here and today's the day I'm going to start making my bee equipment. Uh, I decided I'm going to make a, a series of videos on how I make my bee equipment uh, because bee equipment is so expensive. It's basically the biggest limiting factor in people deciding to beekeep or not. Um, four years ago I went from four hives to 50 now and I would not have been able to do that if I purchased all the equipment. So I calculated it up and it was going to cost me about $12,000 in equipment to get to where I am now. And that's crazy. You didn't even make one dime yet. So basically I used scrap wood, bought the wood I had to purchase, and uh, I built all my equipment and my bee operation is up and running and it really didn't cost me a tenth of that. So uh, let's start. The whole thing about beekeeping is you got to make all the equipment the same. You got to make sure that it's interchangeable because if you don't, um, that just turns into a nightmare when you're making a split and you've carried all the equipment out to the bee yard and then the lid doesn't fit or the uh, base or frame. So you really have to make sure that it is all interchangeable. Okay, so we're going to go get some wood and we're going to make some. Most of the wood I use for my beehives are old pallets. Um, I do buy wood to make the boxes because it's hard to get 10 inch boards out of pallets. Okay, so it looks like it's 7 8 and luckily enough, this is exactly 7 8 So I am just going to have to uh, cut the dimensions. So this is one and a half inches. I have to set my fence to one and a half inches. So that should be it. You want to take her to the miter saw? Okay, so we got the lid, we're going to measure the two lengths. So 22 inches is my length. So we're going to make If I was making a whole bunch more all at once, I would uh, make it. I would make a jig so I can just keep ripping them out very quickly. But today we're just going to make a couple lids. Okay, so now I'm going to measure the inside piece, and that's 17. So I'm going to mark off these. short one it's always the way okay now we're gonna cut the plywood so what I need is a piece of plywood that will cover 18 and 3 quarters so one way I found you do this look at that and it should be 18 and 3 quarters check it 18 and three quarters. Huh, that's great. So this is plywood left over from making my bee wintering boxes.
Okay, so now I have to cut the length. And by the way, the length is 22 and a quarter inches. That's why it's important to keep templates because it's kind of nice. You can just put the other piece up against it, measure it if you don't know what size it is. Now I got all my pieces cut out, I'm going to assemble it. I normally use my crown stapler just to put it all together uh, and then I can go back and nail it because crown staples aren't very big and I wouldn't trust using them to physically hold your lids together for a good length of time because eventually they'll rot out pretty much for sure. I use the crown stapler, hold it all together and then I go around and nail it with some, some more substantial nails. My crown stapler does not like the temperature in my garage so I am not going to fight with it. So I'm going to use nails right from the square one. Okay, so it's really important. Use your uh, long ones on the side and you put that on top and your small ones go in the middle or however you decide to um, measure it. Um, make sure you don't put the other way, it definitely won't fit. Okay, so make sure you put the long ones on the side, the little one in the middle, and I'll just nail it together. You know, it's truly amazing the cost of this equipment. Like some stuff you do need to purchase because it's just not worth all that time. Um, and you only have so much time. A lot of people work and to work and run a fairly extensive business, it takes some juggling and it, and it takes looking at the situation and saying, well, that's not worth it to me to make, uh, even though I can make it. So sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to get things done. Okay, pick your best side of your plywood because you want the water to run off, not pool. You don't want like knots and holes where water can pool up. Then just nail her up. I got these nails at a garage sale. And you know what? Garage sales are great places to pick up. Um, hardware like nails and that because people don't really see value in nails but nails are very expensive to purchase so whenever you see it you pick it up you can get that for way way cheap I got all these nails in a bucket it was a sitting under a bench and I can't remember exactly, but I probably didn't pay any more than like two bucks for a whole pail of nails. And I've used it for all kinds of projects. Basically my beekeeping stuff like lids and, and bottom boards and all that. That's basically what I've been using to uh, assemble them. And if I had to purchase all those nails, that would be a bit of money. So you just got to keep the cost down in little ways. So there you go. I got one lid done. I got 49 to go. Uh, so have a good one.